I applied for a theme at Lynx to be able to build together a series of activities um, and uh, networks that would help both uh, my own research, but also uh, research in areas that I'm interested in and that I have a number of colleagues who, uh, who are also interested in. So the, the main area of our theme was new materials for energy and sustainability. And that pulled together people working on magnetic materials, on catalysts, um, on various different types of, of material. And we thought that we could build something together that uh, that could benefit from the way that Lynx is structured so that we would be able to um, arrange activities that could help people in their specific areas, but also look for commonalities between the different areas that we were working, that we were working, working on. And so I was able, I was lucky enough to be able to, to build together a collaboration of very motivated people who were interested uh, in uh, trying to work together on this. And so we decided to submit an application and uh, we were successful. Our theme has been organized with a core group of people who meet uh, who meet to discuss the uh, the overall um, uh, the overall thrust of the theme, which, uh, as uh, I mentioned before, has the title of new materials. And so uh, we have the activity split into different working groups. Uh, those working groups cover areas like functional magnetic materials, catalysis, charge transfer materials, nanostructured materials. And uh, the, the the working groups are where most of the most of the magic actually happens, and each uh, each working group has taken taken on different activities and different ways of working to try to get to their to, the, to get to their end goals. So that we've shared some of the uh, processes that we developed in individual working groups, um, but each working group has had a relatively free hand to sort out to sort out what they want. So for example, one working group has focused a lot on education, um, training up, training up researchers with the necessary skills and techniques. Another working group spent quite a lot of effort on trying to uh, uh, figure out what's needed to improve certain types of scientific software for analyzing data and, and that kind of thing. And so the, the work has been organized in a way that's, uh, that each, uh, each participant can can contribute what they what they what they want to and what they can and then we all build it together into one whole so the benefits of having a theme at links are, are many um, it's a great opportunity to be able to meet people from all around the world at the various different events that happen either uh, remotely or in person um, and we're also able to help support certain activities. So one of the activities that we have uh, been running is a school on X-ray absorption spectroscopy and how to analyze data from that that has been of interest to multiple uh, multiple people in the theme, multiple working groups. And uh, this school has uh, run with a pra strong practical component and uh, it's run for it, it's it's been run during the lifetime of the theme. And now that the theme is coming to an end, we're hoping that we will be able to establish this as a more permanent event on the calendar, as it's been possible to see all of the benefits that arise from that. So the theme is coming to an end and it will finish at the end of uh, this year, 2023. And uh, looking back, it's uh, very nice to be able to see all of the different uh, things that have been accomplished in the different themes and how it, in the different working groups and how all of the working groups have moved forward and formed their own identities and, uh, and now have uh, communities or hubs surrounding them that will be able to continue looking into those uh, areas. So I think it's been very nice to bring, bring a large number of researchers here to Lund and then they've been able to give presentations and talks both in Lund and in uh, the kind of surrounding areas um, in Sweden and also in Denmark. Um, and that's been really great to get to meet um, a lot of these people and have a lot of conversations that have sparked a lot of new ideas. Um, and so I think that uh, working on the theme has been a real pleasure and a real privilege trying to make sure that we can make things happen that push forward activities. It's been really helpful to have engagement with postdoctoral uh, post uh, scholars and also uh, students who have been interested in uh, putting their putting some of their energies into into developing activities and being able to promote those activities. Um, on the whole, I think that uh, we have been able to build new relationships between people and that's been the most positive outcome from the whole experience. 
For the application process, I think the key thing is to make sure that uh, one can see a clear benefit that arises for the for the working groups that will that will that will make up the theme, and trying to make sure that those working groups can focus on their focus on their own activities, but are also able um, to 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 work together and see where there are where there are parts in common or where their work can help uh, build a, can help uh, can help another working group. Um, and so trying to make sure that you, that there is a framework for the theme when it is operating that will allow that that kind of thing to happen. Um, and uh, mainly the main advice, I suppose, is to make sure that uh, you have a, a, a good team of people who are who are motivated uh, to make sure that uh, plenty of events happen.